Would you think they'll put twenty or twenty-seven years later for for a lie or a government cover-up? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the answer man, Reggie Wright, and paid us a visit or a clubhouse again. Fielding those Tupac questions, Tupac faith, Tupac being alive in the Caribbean, and the Suge Knight tapes that Wack always talk about. Let's get to the content, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. All right, I got a question. This is okay, one of the biggest questions that probably everybody will, will, will love to ask, but you know, they may be afraid to ask, right? And it's okay. one of the biggest conspiracy questions of all. Is Pac dead or alive? Oh, man, come on. Uh, Pac dead. Come on. Come on, bro. Y'all really, yeah. hey, come on. Come on. We, we, I, I'm just so, okay, let me ask you chat, this. Let me ask you, you know? this. Let, let, let's just break this down so we won't have to talk about it. Number one, I can honestly tell you, me and my wife, who we were talking about earlier in the day, picked him up from the uh, from the cemetery, not, uh, where the place was, and, and and got the urn and got him with his ashes. And then one of my security guards, y'all hear all the stories, Danny Boy, everybody talking about they rolled back with him. But one of my security guards just flew back with him. He had a declaring. That's why he almost got fired, because he wasn't supposed to be working. And somehow, I don't know if anybody ever flew with some ashes. It's some type of declaration you have to do you know, when you're flying and they found that paperwork. But anyway. Okay. But would you think Vegas, right. would you think Vegas DA, let me just say this. The DA will be charging TVD. <laughs> the DA and the the sheriff, there's a, they're, they were all on, been talking about this case. They all did a show where I was on, on Nightline, where they all was talking about the case. Would you think they would put their reputation? These are elective officials. Would you think they would put twenty or twenty-seven years later for for a lie or a government cover-up? Just think about it. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. I know we watch twenty-four. And yes, sir. I'm up here watching Prison Break right now, and so it'd be a lot of crazy stuff on TV. But all right, man, everything question. ain't. Yeah. All right. All right, did Pac really have the faith or was that cap? I mean, just like Wack broke me down earlier when I first came on. How do you know, Reggie, when I made the comment about uh, uh, about Keefe D's wife, Paula? You know, I'll say that know? because, Reggie, you know what comes what out of What you right? You broke me down Reggie, right. Reggie, I'm reading why I said that right today okay. as we stand. You know, okay. we, everybody got their little circles. We... Stand firm because everything we say, we right. dare nigga to challenge us because we can we got to prove. And that's why I said you broke it down and you were right. You're and 100% that, that's right. my only thing because we our, our track record is so great because you know we only even when we talking. Okay, yeah. Right, well, okay, what you got? Okay, I got that. I got yeah, that. Okay, I got that. that. How you got it? Yeah, yeah. How was it verified? Yeah. Because niggas is gonna question anything we say because the first thing they can prove. We say ain't right, and everything Correct. else we said they, they go it was a lie. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So my point is, it, it appeared that way. They were around, but only ones would know with them because they're the only ones in the room, right? Yeah, for it real. Wasn't, it, it wasn't no puffy shit <laughs> what he said by watching, watching Cassie. You know, alleged. You know what what the allegations are. We didn't, you know, say. He was doing it and the outlaws was taping it or anything like that. So but she was around him. But hey, what? He definitely was around him. What's up? I remember I was watching a replay and you said something about Tupac medical record coming out of jail, bro. Yeah, that ain't no that ain't no that ain't no no mystery. I mean, that's why they switched took old boy off of doing the film. Because he was gonna do a complete film. Actually he was gonna mm-hmm. start the film with that. And when you're dealing with people like John Singleton's and like that that do movies, right? Especially when they're doing movies that play, that's about a life story, they only gonna write and, and script off what they have that's actual and factual. It's gotta be documented or it gotta be some type of public record or some shit like that. Um, LT just didn't wanna take the, the hint, the, the, the risk as you see Reggie. 
on Bomb First, if you say something about Pac, that is a Pac-driven platform. Exactly. They don't like it. They don't give a f- if it ain't no right or wrong, nigga. No, we don't want to hear it. So Correct. When you dealing with LT, I understand where he coming from. I wouldn't give f- what you got, nigga. You can't put that in there. John telling LT, nigga, I'm LT. I'm John Singleton, nigga. You LT. You ain't, nigga. You ain't gonna dictate if I'm running the show how it go. So LT had to make a decision and go get somebody that was gonna work alongside with, you know, his direction. Hey, Who would it, let me ask y'all this. Who would it take other than Pac? Because Pac is not here to do it. If y'all heard somebody else joking or making statements about that, about that, what would y'all think? Uh, and the only reason I would say that is because what he's saying is, how would y'all feel if you heard it come out of Shook Night's mouth? That's what I'm saying. Like I ain't never heard nobody speak on it until like. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's a lot of shit that they spoke on until Wack or Reggie. Or, I'm gonna be real when it comes to the West Coast. Really thinking about it, Reg. Really, really thinking about it from 90s era to present day. Outside of us, and we really the only that's gonna talk about it. Snoop's not gonna talk about nothing. Um, you get Daz when he want to talk about Suge. Um, Corrupt's not going to talk about too much or nothing. It ain't too many people. I mean, outside of uh, uh, your boy, uh, um, Mob James, you know, he talks about his, the earlier years. Um, it ain't too many people. You know, do you know what would happen if I could Vince Bob Gotti to talk? To talk? So it, the, the chat is asking, when will the Sugar audio tapes come out? Uh, when he get out of line. We got him. I got him. No damn. I got him. <laughs> I don't get that. And, and Sugar Mouth ain't no prayer book. You know what I'm saying? Sugar Mouth ain't no prayer book. But, but I understand. <laughs> and all I ever say, if that's come out, and when that, if that ever come out, if he does say that, I understand where Wack get it from. You know what I'm saying? While Wack says that, accompanied with what he just laid out about John Singleton. Uh, well, you know, before, before he got out of here, right? Because, you know, I had to help him clear some music to, for that film to come out, Reg, you know. That film wasn't yeah, coming yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't clear the music. I had to help him do that, right? But, I, I you know, I asked. Because, you know, I asked. You know, because I seen his Breakfast Club interview, right? I think John, it was a Breakfast Club. John went up there. Nobody the, talked about it. But I asked him. And he said, he, he said, yo, like, nigga, I'm not finna get up there and just lie on no man, but, you know, it's good parts, it's bad parts, it's parts you hate, parts you love, shit you dislike about everybody. So we're gonna tell the story. We're gonna tell the story. All right, y'all, there you go, man. I don't think these questions will ever go away. And the conspiracy theories, I think they're just gonna grow as time going on. Uh, shout out to Tupac for ending up being such an iconic legend. And being around when he was alive with him and all his backs and forth with the law and the East Coast, West Coast, I definitely didn't fully appreciate his impact. But um, since his passing, you just have to acknowledge it. So salute that, man. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. The next time it's your boy, The Answer. We out.